Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to talk about the recent news that came out of NVIDIA where they announced that they're going to be using their GTX 980 desktop versions in laptops. These are not going to be 980Ms, they're going to be full GM204 chips that we see in our desktop GTX 980s, but in laptops. They had this press event out in LA that a lot of the big tech YouTube channels and blogs were invited out to. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go to this event, but I did get some images from Logan at Tech Syndicate who let me use these images for the purposes of this video. So you guys can get a look at what was going on there. You'll see that they were testing on some laptops. Um, they already have manufacturers that are getting on board with this, like MSI, Asus, Clevo, who have laptops already with the full-size desktop GM204 chips in them. Asus even has this ridiculous-looking laptop that has this gigantic water cooler um, that's optional on the laptop. I believe you can take it off. I, I remember reading somewhere you can actually take it off. But if you're running a full-size GTX 980 in a laptop, you're probably going to need it, which kind of defeats the whole purpose purpose of it, you know, if it's being a mobile gaming solution. And the big thing I want to talk about with these laptop, you know, using the GTX 980s is thermal throttling. And for all of the, you know, the, the outlets that I saw at this event, I didn't see too many people really even talking about thermal throttling, which is going to be my biggest concern as a gamer if I were to go out and pick up one of these laptops that has a full GM204 chip in it. Now, the full GTX 980, you know, with its 2048 CUDA cores, which is going to be making a return in the laptop version, so they're going to have the full 2048 CUDA cores, um, they are going to have a lower TDP. Now, the full size GM204 on the desktop version does have 165 watt TDP. They said they were able to get this number lower, but they haven't released any specifics of that TDP just yet so it still remains to be seen you know how much thermal efficiency they're going to be able to get on the laptop version of the desktop gtx 980s now the major issue for me out of this news is the potential for thermal throttling now thermal throttling has always been a big issue with gaming laptops you get you know a gaming laptop and you might benchmark something and it'll run okay right out of the box but then you try gaming for a few hours and those temperatures start rising you know and you're going to start to see some degradation in performance i used to own an asus g74 sx that had a gtx 560m in it that i believe was clocked at 850 megahertz on the core out of the box but after a few hours of playing Battlefield 3 I would start to see that come down to like 750 700 and my performance in games would take a serious hit now this is going to be you know the big concern for me on these desktop 980s and laptops even though it's a full-size chip and it technically has all of the potential for performance on the die you know on that you know 28 nanometer process the possibility of it getting throttled back because of heat issues is going to be a definite concern. Um, you know, especially with things like GPU Boost 2.0, you know, I put like a 250 megahertz overclock on a 980 and I'll see that thing boost up to like over 15 even though on a standard GTX 980 the boost clock is only rated at 1216 but you'll regularly see that kicking it by another 100 megahertz or more if it's under ideal uh, under an ideal cooling solution inside a laptop is not an ideal cooling solution for a GPU so the likelihood that you're going to see those big gains from something like GPU boost 2.0 is pretty much slim to none and the likelihood that you're going to get even less than what you would have expected at the standard clock is also highly likely especially since they're bringing in a larger chip into the laptops you know even mobile chips have had issues with this thermal throttling so bringing in a full-size chip i have to imagine it's just going to be even worse so i would be very hesitant about this going forward because we did see some initial benchmark runs coming out you know they had the witcher 3 they said was running at 61 fps these are all numbers from nvidia by the way um gta 5 89 fps 117 fps on mad Max on um, Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain at 84 FPS Killing Floor 2 at eight, at 62 F FPS um, but you know uh, and they were saying that these are ultra settings at 1920 by 1080 on the MSI laptop that had the desktop GTX 980 in it so those are really impressive numbers but again my concern comes in is that's basically like a speed burst run you know I could take any GPU and just you know run it for 30 seconds through a benchmark and see what it gets but you know go back to that same game two three hours later and see if it's still holding up to that same level of performance when you've seen the temperature of the GPU rise more and more and more I could tell you once again going back to that old Asus laptop that I had which had some of the best cooling for a laptop at its time I regularly saw my GPU getting up to 90 to 95 degrees Celsius 
without an overclock because you wouldn't dare overclock one of those chips. Now, I know the Maxwell architecture is more thermal efficient than those old Fermi based, you know, mobile chips. Um, but the thermal issues are still going to be a concern. And I think I, I would be, you know, remiss to think that, you know, if you think these are numbers are going to stay exactly the same after like two, three hours of gaming, um, then, you know, I would definitely disagree with that. And it's, you know, we're going to have to see the final version when it does come out, but I just wanted to raise my concern about it because I didn't hear any outlets out there really talking about this issue of the thermal throttling. It just seemed like everyone was, you know, uber excited, like, hey, desktop GTX 980s are going in laptops, and that's great. You know, I think that would be really a really cool thing to have as like a mobile workstation solution. The Clevo laptops are really great. They've got, you know, full-size Skylake CPUs in them, so I would definitely love to check one of those out as a mobile workstation. Uh, but as a full-time gaming solution, no, certainly not. I would advise any Anyone that's thinking about getting a laptop as a full-time gaming solution against doing that. I mean, unless you're like really like on the go all the time and you, you're never in one place, then I guess that's really, you know, your only means. But I know way too many people that have bought laptops thinking they're going to get desktop performance when it's just not the case. And I doubt that will be the case even now when they're actually getting the same exact parts that it's in, that is in a desktop because of those, the heat issues that's going to happen in a small space. It's just, it's just, it's basically, it's, it's bound to happen. So. So I'm going to get out of here now, guys. Let me know what you think about the issue with the desktop 980s in, a la in the laptops and the thermal throttling. Do you think that's going to be a big issue or are they going to really be able to tame this beast and get the temperatures under control? Love to get your feedback down below in the comments. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now, guys. So I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra.